this video we will study about plant dhatura stramonium its common name is thorn apple or jimson weed this belongs to family solanaceae if we see its economically important part we can use the whole plant leaves fruits flowers stem roots basically dhatura stramonium is an bushy herbaceous plant which can grow up to 2 to 5 feet in height if we see its root system it is long thick fibrous and white its stems they are stout erect leafy smooth and pale yellow green to reddish purple in color the stems branches into forks and each form a leaf and a single erect flower now we can see this plant of dhatura this leaves and stem flowers are also appearing now its leaves are about three to eight inches in length upper surface of the leaf and lower surface of the leaf color is different upper surface is dark green and lower surface is light green uh, leaves if tasted they have a bitter and nauseating taste nausea uh, it will produce bad smell in your mouth now we can see its leaves these are its leaves dutura stramonium flowers throughout the summer its flowers they show fragrance and their shape is like trumpet their color varies it can be white creamy pinkish violet which grow on short stems in the axil of the leaves uh, or places where the branches fork uh, its flowers open at night and they emit a pleasant fragrance now this is its flower which is here it's whitish creamish color uh, its fruit is capsule type uh, which is 3 to 8 centimeter in diameter and this is also covered by spines we can see here this is its fruit which is covered by spines this is capsule type and this is open uh, into valves to liberate the black seeds this is again its fruit and this is the mature fruit now if we see its phytochemistry the dura stramonium it contains 64 different type of tropane alkaloids the major tropane alkaloids are hyoscyamine and scopolamine and there are also several minor alkaloids if you see its uses and economic importance the tura plant has several characteristics properties uh, this is anti-spasmodic mean this will relieve the spasm in your uh, muscles pain in your muscles analgesic analgesic is again relief from the pain sleep inducing expectorant is uh, usually used as a cough medicine that uh, thins and loosen your mucous membrane sedative which reduces irritability or excite excitability hypnotic sleep inducing intoxicant which uh, soothes up your a physical and psychological pain a kind of drug and this also improves uterine stimulation during the childbirth owing to above soothing or therapeutic or healing properties the entire plant is used in preparation of many ayurvedic traditional and alternative medicines now what are its what is its role in the medicines now this improves respiratory health because uh, it has powerful anti-inflammatory inflammatory if there is some swelling or pain in the body so this will act as anti-inflammatory expectorant as we discussed uh, thins and loosen your mucous membranes antispasmodic properties this will uh, uh, relieve spasm from the muscles so the entire plant body is used in treating all sorts of respiratory troubles including common cold uh, flu whooping cough asthma and bronchitis now this also improves cardiac functioning good for heart being a natural antioxidant and a cardioprotective herb it plays a very important role in treating a host of heart ailments 
it is also used for strengthening the heart muscles. Uh, this induces sleep, so this also relaxes the mind. So, presence of adaptogenic hypnotic sleep inducing and sedative properties which reduce uh, which induce sedation and reduces irritability or excitability, improves the mood and also relieves stress and anxiety. Uh, so, temporarily this will calm your body. This will also help in treating uh, psychotic problems like depression and dementia. It also enhances uh, fertility and uh, also helpful in childbirth uh, by reducing stress and anxiety inducing calmness. It stimulates the production of uh, various hormones related with the reproduction. So this increases the fertility. The Tura flowers are effective in the treatment of infertil infertility in women. Uh, this is also helpful in childbirth because this improves the uterine contractions during the childbirth. Now, its seeds are used as a natural source of antifungal agent. So, it also has antifungal activity. This reduces the growth of the fungus. So, this is called as antifungal activity. Now, this can also used uh, to uh, repel various kinds of insects. So, the Thura plant generates a characteristic odor that act as a repellent for various kind of insects and pests. So, this helps in controlling insects. So, this is insecticidal activity. Now, this also reduces uh, a cancer, pro, uh, cancer formation in the body. So, this has anti-cancer activity. The Tura plant can be used in the production of many drugs which are involved in the cure of the cancer. Uh, because the Tura is rich in antioxidants and this is also rich in ascorbic acid or vitamin C. It also has strong antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal properties. So, due to these good qualities, uh, this can improve the production of white blood cells and this will also help in neutralizing the free oxygen radicals throughout the body. So, in that way, this will improve your immune system, this will make your immune system stronger. Now, the Tura is also uh, uh, helpful in uh, improving the digestion process. It has anti flatulent property. This will reduce the formation of gas, improves the digestion, reduces flatulence, gas, bloating, constipation and abdominal cramps in the body. This is good for skin and hair. Uh, the Tura is rich in antioxidants and vitamin C. So, this is used for treating oxidative free radical damage due to sun rays. Uh, this also reduces the aging signs like wrinkles, fine lines and spots, dark circles, helps in treating acne and pimples on the face. It plays an important role in uh, improving your hair growth. This also helps in controlling certain urinary troubles. And the Tura is extremely beneficial in treating uh, urolithiasis or kidney stone and other kidney disorders as well. Uh, it is bioactive component uh, which act reduce the accumulation and deposition of calcium and magnesium uh, which ultimately leads to stone in the kidney and ureter. So, in that way this help in controlling the urinary troubles in the body. Uh, but the Tura also has certain side effects uh, like it is poisonous in nature. So, we cannot take it without any guidance of the doctor and this has certain hallucination and intoxication effects. Uh, it should not be taken by the pregnant women also. Uh, this induces certain side effects like fever, dry mouth heart palpitation, muscle stiffness, uh, certain allergic reactions are there, heartbeat is increased. So, uh, this should not be consumed without the supervision of the doctor. Uh, Dhatura parts can be used in the medicine preparations. So, leaves and seeds they contain a high concentration of poisonous alkaloids like dhaturin and albumin. The plant part of Dhatura should not be consumed without purification and without the advice of doctor and without its proper doses. It can be extremely lethal toward health and can cause unconsciousness, 
coma and sometime this can cause death of a organism. So, uh, it is a good plant used in various medicines. This has many uses like this can treat fever, this can improve the heart problems, this uh, treats your respiratory disorders, this treats uh, psychotic conditions and this uh, reduces dementia. This also helps in treating insomnia, depression and this increases the digestion process. Uh, this also increases your skin disorders as well as uh, this treats your hairs but it has to be taken under the approval of the doctor. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.